Okay, folks, Rex Tillerson got uh, confirmed uh, by uh, the House vote in Congress today, and the vote was 56 to 43, with four members of the uh, Democratic caucus uh, jumping uh, ship and one member not voting. So I'm starting my list of the Democrats that uh, I don't want to see or hear anything from uh, the next time they're up for election. Uh, some of them, I believe, are 2018, but a bunch of them are 2020. Heading the list, in my opinion, is uh, Joe Manchin. This guy has been the softest of any Democrat that I have ever seen. He is in the, the uh, pocket of uh, oil companies, and he was a major uh, booster for the Keystone Pipeline. Now, why he's a booster for the Keystone Pipeline when he's in West Virginia, uh, I don't know, other than the fact that uh, the Keystone uh, Pipeline backers uh, are uh, companies like the American Petroleum Institute, and they provide him with a lot of PAC dollars. The uh, second person that I believe uh, should be on everybody's list is uh, Heidi Heidkamp. She's also uh, a booster of the Keystone Pipeline, and that's because that particular pipeline, I believe, runs through her state. And she, along with uh, Manchin, and the third person, uh, Warner are all uh, on record as uh, claiming that the, the Keystone Pipeline is going to provide a lot of jobs. And actually, it will provide some jobs, like 35 permanent jobs. But that being said, even without their votes, there would have been enough to pass uh, this guy through uh, Congress to be confirmed. But The bailing out, and I mean Manchin bailed out the moment that this guy was announced. Heidkamp uh, basically uh, pretty much bailed out shortly thereafter because, as I stated earlier, uh, the Keystone Pipeline uh, runs uh, through her state of North uh, Dakota. Now, Mark Warner is another interesting one. He's the senator from Virginia, nowhere near where this pipeline's going to be. But he also is uh, one of the three senators that are in the pocket of, like, big oil companies and energy companies. So I guess they decided that it was more important uh, to take those energy dollars than it was uh, to vote against this guy. Now, the fourth member of the uh, caucus that uh, voted with the Republicans was um, Angus King. Now, he actually is an independent, and he actually doesn't take any uh, oil, big oil money or any other uh, kind of energy money. Um, he also opposes the Keystone Pipeline, but he did, for whatever reason, support Tillerson. Now, there's one member that didn't vote, and I don't know why. And I guess um, unless he makes an announcement, we'll never find out. That's Senator, excuse me, Chris Coons. Uh, he's a Democrat out of Delaware. So, you know, maybe he just saw the handwriting on the wall and figured it wasn't going to make a difference whether he showed or not. Honestly, it, I think it would have been better for him to show so that um, at least one more vote would have been made I'm assuming against this guy. So Rex Tillerson is in and uh, let the Russian connection uh, begin.